Oh, I'm frightfully upset. A terrible thing happened. In the middle of the night, my wife awakened me and said, get up, there's a burglar in the house. Anything I hate in this world is to have my wife awaken me in the middle of the night and tell me to get up and meet a burglar. I'll meet landlords and janitors, but one must draw the line someplace. So I said to my wife, no, you get up. She says, no, you get up. I said, I got up to meet the last burglar. You get up and meet this one. She said, you get right up and see what that man's doing. So I got up and I said, here, Mr. Burglar, what do you mean burgling in my house? He said, I have a perfect right to burgle in your house, sir, and I'm going to burgle. I said, I'll see whether you're going to burgle or not. I'll go right out and get a policeman and have you arrested. He said, go on out and get your darned old policeman and see whether you can have me arrested or not. Oh, I hate to be taunted by a burglar, so I went right out to the grocery store and I found two policemen. I said, officers, come right outside with me. I've got something I want to say to you. When they got outside, I said, there's a burglar down into my house burgling, and I want you to come with me and arrest him. So they came along, and when we got halfway home, they stopped. I said, what's the matter now? They said, what uh, kind of a looking burglar is this burgling in your house? I said, he has a dark mustache. They said, has he a scar over his right eye? I said, yes, he has. I noticed that scar particularly. They said, we can't arrest him. I said, what do you mean you can't arrest him? Here you are a policeman on this force, and you can't arrest a burglar? What do you mean? He said, he has purchased the burgling privilege on this block, and we can't touch him. I said, well, how in the world am I going to be protected? I said, well, you have to move into a block where they haven't sold the burglar privilege. So I went home, and there the burglar sat. I said, well, I'm sorry, but I can't have you arrested. Seems you have a right to burgle here. And he laughed at me. Oh, how I hate to have a burglar laugh at me. He said, come on now, I've wasted enough time with you. Fork out your watch and your money and your jewels and your wife's jewelry. And he took our silver-plated, I mean our solid silverware, and all our jewels and tied it in one great big bundle and threw it over his shoulder. Just as he was about to leave, a man with a mask on stepped into the window and blew a whistle. The burglar dropped the bag and turned to me and said, you're a lucky guy. I said, what do you mean I'm a lucky guy? Here you are taking everything I possess in the world and you say I'm a lucky guy. He said, I can't take it. I said, you can't take it? He said, no. I belong to the Burglars Union, number 44, and that was the president of our union, and he just called a strike. And when I told the boys how I had frightened the burglars out of town, they intend making me mayor of this city. And when I am, I want you to know that I will make just as good an official as anyone in the world. Now, that's President Wilson. He said, make me president of the United States, and I'll reduce the high cost of living, the cost of eggs of butter, the cost of eggs, eggs. Why, gosh darn it, he hasn't got any more influence with a hen than I have. He can pass all the laws Congress will let him pass, and that hen won't pay any attention to it. I know, for I have the best set of rules and regulations for hens to go by, nailed in my hen house, and not a gosh darn hen will look at it. I have even called hens aside and spoken to them privately, so as not to embarrass them in front of the other hens and tried to point out their duty as an egg-laying proposition and all I got was cluck cluck. And when that hen is laying but one egg a month, the price of eggs are going up. I don't care what anyone says, the price of eggs are going up. And when that hen is laying a dozen eggs a day, which is going some for any bullet, the price of eggs are going down. And you ask me why. You ask me why. Well, I'll tell you why because eggs become unfriendly after a while, and there is nothing so disturbing to the family circle as a suspected egg. Do not be deceived by these promise-all politicians. Vote often and early for me.